This hack tip is brought to you by the all-new G Flex 2 from LG. Life's good. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm Shannon Morris, and today we are checking out Wireshark and wireless packet captures. Now, wireless works a little bit differently than wired networks. I'm not gonna show you an example just yet in Wireshark, because first I wanna explain what wireless spectrum looks like. So the physical layer of a wireless spectrum has 11 different channels in the US, legally. Your network data and traffic will show up on one of those different channels. Therefore, you have to configure your computer to know which channel to capture tra traffic on in Wireshark. You may want into any kind of wireless interference. If you're in a warehouse, for example, you might have wireless interference there, and that might give you some false packet loss data, which you need to know about beforehand. And you might end up with capturing data from an overlapping channel if you have two different channels with tons of different wireless routers going on both of them at the same time. You should also know about wireless card modes. So there are six, six main modes that you can choose from. There's managed, ad hoc, master, mesh, repeater, and monitor. Monitor is the one that we're gonna pay most of our, of our attention to, but I'll go ahead and explain in just a little bit. So master mode is often referred to as an access point or a base station. Interfaces in managed mode, aka infrastructure mode, are considered clients or stations that are the devices connected to the access point. Uh, that would be like your laptop. Ad hoc, aka peer-to-peer, -peer, is a mode where wireless devices can communicate with each other without the need for a centralized base station or an access point. A wireless interface in repeater mode can be configured to connect to a wireless network or repeat the signal. So that would be like a wireless repeater. Now you can think of a mesh as a sort of planned ad hoc network. Mesh networks or mesh clouds are radios, uh, are comprised of radios acting as routers, gateways, and clients. And lastly is the important one that I mentioned, monitor mode. So this lets your wireless device listen to the packets flying through the airways, no transmitting or receiving, just monitoring. So there are a lot more details about all these different ones in Hack Tip Episode 9 by Darren Kitchen. To capture traffic in monitor mode on, on a Windows machine, for example, you will most likely need to use hardware such as Air PCAP, which you can find over at riverbed.com. And we also sell one over in the Hack Shop, which works just as well. This is called the AWUS036NEH Alpha USB Wi-Fi device. So both of these can do monitor modes and it's very, very important to use these with a Windows computer. So. After this, you would need these to use WinPCAP drivers. This will add monitor mode to your computer. If you're using a Linux machine, you can probably just change the NIC internally. This varies depending on your own wireless hardware, so do a quick search on Google for your specific device. Moving on, now let's take a look at Wireshark with wireless packet headers. So first off, I wanted to show you a very, very simple one. This one has a new section for 802.11. Now we've never seen that before, 802.11 down here in an actual packet. And this one in particular has this thing called a beacon frame or delicious bacon. So a management frame like this one establishes connectivity. A control packet would allow the management and data packets to be delivered, and a data packet contains the actual data. So this management packet in particular is this bacon frame. Okay, it's beacon, sorry, but I'm really hungry. I love bacon, which broadcasts from a WAP or a wireless access point out to pretty much anyone listening within that area. So you'll find the type and the subtype in the header as well as a timestamp. So I can look down here. So you can find the type and subtype. So in this case, it would be management frame, as well as a timestamp, which is down here. And I will also see the beacon interval, which is retransmissions of beacons. And that's going to show me how many times in seconds that they will be transferred. Uh, capability information will be below that, and you'll need to look up what each of their numbers mean. And then you'll have the SSID, the supported rates, specifically the data transfer rates, and the DS parameter, which is actually the channel of the WAP. So if we look down here and find our DS parameter, the current channel is going to be 
11. How interesting. Now next week, I'm going to delve into a lot more information about wireless networks and how to use those with Wireshark. But first off, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Let me know what you think. Send me a comment below or email us tips at hack5.org. Be sure to check out our sister show, hak5.org, hack5 for more great stuff just like that. I'll be there reminding you to trust your technolist. This hack tip is brought to you by the all-new G Flex 2 from LG. Life's good.